This is section 12.6, adding and subtracting rational expressions. Here is where we're going to use the same thing that I talked about at the beginning, which is finding the least common denominator, which is critical because we're going to be adding and subtracting fractions, basically. So let's start with 26. And actually, because um, there is no equivalent to 27, slightly more complex, I'm going to go look for a problem that is similar to that one so that we review enough of this uh, getting ready for the test. All right, if we look at 26, um, which is 5 over 6a plus 1 over 9a squared, first need to see I do not have a common denominator, so I need to find my LCD. To do that, I need to figure out what are my prime factors for 6a, and that is 2 times 3 times a. And do the same thing with 9a squared, and in this case, they are 3 times 3 times a times a. And if you remember how we did this, you find everything that's in common. So the 3 is in common between them and the A. And so my LCD begins with what's in common. And you only write that once, 3 times A. And then you fill in the rest with all of the factors that are left over. So I start with 3 times A, and then I add 2 times 3 times a, the 3 that are left over. So I only add the 3 and the a once because they're in common, and then I add the remainder, the remaining factors. So my LCD ends up being 3 times 2 is 6, times 3 is 18, and a times a is a squared. Once I know that, I can go back here and say, okay, I need to make this denominator 18a squared, and then this denominator 18a squared. So to do that, I take 5 over 6a, and I'm going to multiply top and bottom by whatever is going to make it 18a squared, and that's going to be 3a over 3a. And I'm going to do the same with this fraction, 1 over 9a squared. And I can see that if I multiply each by top and bottom by 2, I'll get 18a squared. So I can multiply everything out now, and I get 15a over 18a squared plus 2 over 18a squared. Now that I have a common denominator, I can add everything together. So my final answer is 15a plus 2 over 18a squared. That is number 26. Now, if you look at number 27, it's somewhat more complex, and I want to do one problem like it to make sure that you're prepared for the test. So, uh, let's see. I'm going to do this problem, p plus 1 over p squared minus 49, and I'm going to add p minus 1 over p squared plus 10p plus 21. Now clearly, I do not have common denominators or anything close to it, and the only way I can even find them is by factoring what's there to try to get a sense for what needs to be added to the common denominators. So my first job here is to factor, and my denominator is a difference of 2 squared, p, the square p squared, and 49. So I get p plus 7, p minus 7. And I get over here, and I can see that I have p squared plus 10, p plus 21. So let me see where I can factor. 21 is 3 times 7. Um, 
um, so plus seven plus three, and I can see that these are gonna add up to 10p, so I'm fine. So my LCD, what is my LCD? Here I have p plus seven, p minus seven. Here I have p plus three, p plus seven. So my first denom is p plus seven, p minus seven. And my second is p plus seven, p plus three. Well, it's same thing to find the LCD. Which do they have in common? They have this in common. So I take what they have in common, p plus seven, and I add what's left over, which is p minus seven, p plus three. So this is what I need in each of the denominators. How do I get there? Well, p plus one over p plus seven, p minus seven. What am I missing? I'm missing the p plus three. So I'm gonna add it top and bottom. And then I go over to this term. And I have p minus one over p plus three and p plus seven. Which one am I missing? I'm missing p minus seven. So I multiply top and bottom by p minus seven. And now I end up with p plus one times p plus three over p plus seven, p minus seven, p plus three, plus on this side, p minus one, p minus seven over p plus three, p plus seven, and p minus seven. I am now able to combine these in one whole, but I have to also multiply everything out. So I end up with p squared plus p, <coughs> excuse me, plus three p, so I get plus four p plus three, Plus, and I multiply this out, I get p squared, I get minus p and uh, minus 7p, so I get minus 8p plus 7. And all of that is over p plus 7 p minus seven, p plus three. I can combine all of these and get two p squared. Um, let's see, two p squared minus four p plus 10 over p plus seven p minus seven, p plus three. And if I try to factor this, and you should, probably should try, but if I try, I will find that I cannot simplify it any further. And so this is my answer. Okay, that is the most complex problem that you will have to do on the test, one of the more complex. But as you can see, it's very systematic. Find your least common denominator. Make sure you multiply by the appropriate piece to give you the common denominator on each term. Then multiply out the top with the numerator that you've now created. Add all like terms together and you're done. So that is all of um, 12.6, although I will stop here and I'll just do number 28 to go through a word problem with you.